Hello again. In this video, I will explain, I will try to explain you uh, update Solaris 11 system to last SRU on your uh, repository file, which, uh, not, which is not important, your repository file, web file, or local, or any other, uh, your uh, wide local file. Uh, just, I will check my repository and are there any, if are there any uh, updated file, is persist uh, I will uh, update my system uh, with SRU level now I will check my system level yes my system is your name minus a sorry my system is 11.2 SRU 10.5 Solaris 11.2 SRU 10.5 Okay, now I will check my repository Yes, this is my repository and online uh, if I try to do some package uh, process in my uh, system, I will use this repository which, repo which repository uh, is located uh, in Oracle but on the support side uh, that means you can take uh, all of the updated on the Solaris uh, without any um, information needed like this list minus entire pipe more yes with uh, minus a v f uh, function, I will see my repository uh, last SRU level, which is installed on my system. I name is installed. I mean is installed. This is my repository file. If I use uh, pkg update on my system, I will interrupt it. Uh, I will update my SRU to 11.5. This is uh, my last SRU on the repository is 11.5. So there is 11.2, SRU 11.5. Now, uh, if I want to write PKG update, Directory accept. Sometimes we need that. Uh, if I write this command, system automatically create boot environment. If any uh, problem persists on the system, any package uh, problem persists on the system, uh, you will use uh, created boot environment. System will automatically boot created boot environment. But I will verify that I will create boot environment uh, by me because uh, sometimes there is some problem. But for this reason, I do that, and I advise you, you can do that also. Uh, clear. Now, I will create boot environment. Create before update. Okay, I created my boot environment. Uh, I don't care the system will create boot environment while update or not. It is not important for me. Uh, but I created with guarantee. I will update, sorry, my system. Activate accept.
if you want you could use uh, minus nv option uh, that mean is not uh, installed and verbose verbose information will be uh, given to you but it won't be installed the uh, updates to your system just you will see the uh, what happened if installed the system and minus enemy option will show uh, will will be showed to you uh, what will happen to your system when you install uh, that means assume not install but uh, simulate that and now it uh, starts to install and there is 2833 files uh, the will be uh, updated will be touch and 74 packages uh, approximately uh, 30 megabyte file will be downloaded over internet yeah if you notice that boot environment creation yes uh, a new boot environment will be created and after uh, after boot the system after reboot the system with init 6 uh, we will see that new boot environment will be uh, used to open system it is almost finished Yes, completed. Yes. Now, uh, Solaris dash two will be mounted on root. Uh, when you reboot your boot environment, uh, new boot environment will be updated, will be uh, activated. Medium list will show us that. Yes, as you see in here, Solaris dash two after reboot will be activated. In it six. New boot environment will be activated and uh, new SRU level uh, will be used on the uh, Solaris 11 operating system. Let's remember uh, what was the repository SRU level. It was 11.5. Uh, on the system it was 10.5. On the SRU 11.5. After update uh, we assume that uh, we know that uh, actually uh, so there's 11 uh, point to SRU 11 point 5 the system uh, level SRU level will be that Yeah, it is very fast because because it is virtual machine and uh, Oracle VM for Spark. Yeah, yeah list. Put environment. Yes, it is now Solaris uh, dash two. Yeah, list entire. Yes, perfect. Our SRU level is eleven. 0.5 that means 11.5 it is very easy to update your system in Solaris 11 uh, just one command 
and uh, after that uh, you get your new updated new uh, operating system with new high SRU new SRU uh, yeah it's very easy thank you listen to me see you again